हाई एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी नॉलेज पुडल वीडियो सीरीज सो फाइनली वी हैव रीच द स्टेज वे वील स्टार्ट टू सेटअप आर ओन लैब एनवायरमेंट सो देर आर बेसिकली थ्री थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू डू टू सेटअप आर लैब द फर्स्ट इज वी नीड टू रजिस्टर एंड ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट द सेकेंड थिंग इज वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट द रीजन वे वी विल बी वर्किंग ऑन एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज will design and implement the basic network setup that we will be using throughout our lab environment so let's explore each one of these so registering a aws account so one good news for the new users is that amazon gives the aws free tier for the new users who are planning to explore amazon so what happens under free tier is you get lot of services to be used under the free tier usage for up to 12 months so let me just show you on what i mean by that so if you look into the aws free tier you get 750 hours per month of amazon ec2 usage you get around 5 gb of s3 you get 5 gb of elastic file system followed by rds and so many other services so basically for 12 months for trial and practice related activities you can register yourself under the free tier usage so what i'll be doing is i'll also sign up for the free tier and throughout the labs i'll be working under the aws free tier usage so coming back to the presentation i have already registered myself for the aws free tier now one thing to remember is that while signing up you need to attach your debit card or credit card for which the aws will validate for so without debit or credit card you won't be able to register for aws so that is one of the caveats so after registering for the aws free tier the second thing that we have to select is the aws region now for our labs we will be selecting north virginia which is the us east one region because generally there are lot of services which are available under the us east one which are not available currently into the other regions and the third thing here is design and implement the network setup so let's look into what we will be doing so we have a pretty simple network design where we will create one vpc the citr of vpc is 10000/16 in this vpc we will have two subnets one is a public subnet and one is the private subnet with 10050/24 and 10060/24 subnet now in each of the subnet we will create one ec2 instance and along with that we will be creating a nat gateway the reason why we we'll create a nat gateway because if you see the ec2 instance is in the private subnet so it will not be able to contact the internet and that is one of the reasons why we'll also create a nat gateway and we'll also create a internet gateway that will attach it to the public subnet so that we can connect to the ec2 instance in the public subnet so very very simple network design and this is what we will be implementing in the us east region so this is it about our lab setup we will start to implement each one of them in the upcoming lectures so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts at any point you are feel free to contact us at instructors@kplabs.in as well as connect to us on social media Thanks for watching.